Welcome back to another sequence in our RPO sequences series. Today we're going to be covering the VBAR to RBAR sequence, and this can be found in the RPO specialized RBAR and VBAR subfolder. So we're recovering once again the VBAR to RBAR um, sequence. So taking a look, as the name suggests, you do need to start off on the VBAR within 10 meters. And not only that, you have to have your rate zeroed. So we're going to take a quick look at our initial state. We have our initial state over here um, being the in-track, um, an in-track offset, which puts us on the VBAR, a 150 meter in-track offset behind the target. And then, so we're in the initial locations, we're on the VBAR. The VBAR to RBAR, uh, this is actually going to be comprised of two other sequences in that folder, the VBAR to natural motion circumnav, and the natural motion circumnav to RBAR, which are going to be covered in other uh, videos. So you can take a look at those if you want more information. But in short, what it's going to do is go from the VBAR into yourself into a natural motion circumnav. And then that natural motion circumnav is going to keep on continuing until you hit the RBAR. So the options we have for this sequence are what stopping condition do I want? The RBAR, the plus or the minus. So if this is true, it's going to stop on the positive R bar up here. If it's not true, if it's false, it's going to stop down here on the negative uh, R bar. So you can control whether it stops up here or down here. Um, and then you also have control over what satellite I am. So just make sure this matches your satellite name, what engine model you'd like to use, and whether you want to use impulsive or finite maneuvers. We're just going to stick with impulsive today and accept the default. And I'm just going to go ahead and run this. You'll see once I do, there's two target sequences it has to go through. Uh, and then once it's done, it continues into this natural motion circumnav until I hit that plus R bar sequence. Um, and if I wanted to instead maybe change this from true to be false, I could stop on the bottom R bar down here. And you'll see that it only does a quarter of this natural motion circumnav. Uh, you'll also notice that there's no cross track component uh, because in order to stop on the R bar, it needs to cross the R bar. So you're Natural motion circumnav must cross the R bar, uh, which means there's no cross track component there. Okay, so that's going to cover it for the V bar to R bar sequence.